Hey there! Today, I guide you on installing the latest GNOME desktop on your Linux system. Stay updated with its sleek design and user-friendly features, whether you're a seasoned Linux user or a beginner. Let's get started. Let's check sources.list to see if it's well populated. And also it is a good practice to work with an updated system. So I will have to fully upgrade my Linux system to the latest version. Use this command to fully upgrade your system. sudo app full upgrade y. I will fast forward this download process to save some time. Okay, back again, the download has completed, and now the downloaded file are being unpacked. This might take some time, so I will fast forward here. During unpacking you might get this notification to allow auto restart of some services. Choose yes and continue. Alright, the process is finished. Now let's check the version that we have here. This is the latest version as of this date of recording. Since our Kali Linux machine is up to date, we can now install GNOME Desktop Environment. Use the command sudo apt y install Kali Desktop GNOME. The download process time will vary depending on your internet connection speed. I will fast forward to save some time. During installation, we will have this notification message pop up, which asks for a display manager. As you can see there are two managers here. GDM3 and LightDM. GDM3, or GNOME Display Manager 3, is the login screen and session manager for the GNOME desktop environment on Linux systems. It's the first thing you see when you start your computer allowing you to log in and access your desktop. GDM3 not only provides a secure login interface, but also manages your user sessions. With its sleek and user-friendly design, GDM3 fits seamlessly into the GNOME desktop environment. It offers features like user switching, accessibility options, 
and customization possibilities, making it a crucial component for GNOME users. Welcome back, folks. After a quick restart of our Kali Linux system, I have logged in and dived into a fresh desktop environment. One of the great things about GNOME is that it's highly customizable, and that includes the look and feel of your desktop. Personally, I like to have my icons on the left side instead of the bottom, but everyone has their own preferences and tastes when it comes to desktop layout. So, in just a moment, I'll be making that change, shifting our icons to the left. If you're curious about how to tailor your desktop to your liking, stick around because I'm about to show you how. Keep watching. Waking up, every day's tough. I'm just hoping I can make it through the same stuff. Got a bad job, got no love. Feel so alone, feel so stuck. Gotta find something to look forward to. Anything to keep my mind off what I'm going through. But I don't know where to start, what's the first move? Maybe I just try a bunch of different things soon. Yeah, that could be the trick. A hundred different things, I mean, one has got to stick. But how exactly do I pick? If I'm good at it, like a really good fit, or... Maybe passion is it something I could do every day, never miss something that I to make these adjustments. Like a we'll be using a handy tool called Conf Editor. If it's not already on your system, don't worry, you can easily install it by running sudo apt installed Conf Editor. In my case, it's already installed and ready to go. Now type conf editor on the terminal and navigate to slash org slash gnome slash shell slash extension slash dash to dock and then scroll down to find dock position. The bottom is the default value. Click on it and toggle use default value to deactivate. You can now select a side that you prefer. Positive thoughts, they just might beat the stress. I just might need some rest because my life is a mess. But I could change all of that if I change my mind, if I try my best. Can I face this? Can I make it? I feel faithless, wish I could replace this. I need changes, I wanna be the greatest. So I will chase it, I will be courageous. I will chase it, I will be courageous. 